In this morning's Health Watch, hidden fatigue factors. We all know that lack of sleep will make you tired, but there could be other reasons for it. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with some possible causes and some ideas to help you beat that tired feeling. Good morning, Good Jen. Good morning, Maggie. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Let's say if you're one of those rare people who are lucky enough to get enough sleep, but you still feel tired. What could be causing that? Well, there is a plethora of things, and mo probably the most common, Maggie, is to exclude something like depression. But then, very, very simple things that most people take for granted. The first one is you have to fill the gas tank in the morning. You have to give your body the fuel it needs to function during the day, and that means nutritious food and plenty of water so when you're talking about breakfast we know it's the most important meal of the day something like egg whites complex carbs like a whole grain or fruit best way to start your day and get your energy going okay breakfast check check in this pregnancy I was told that I have anemia and right. it led me to feel incredibly sluggish right. for people who have anemia and they constantly feel tired what can they do First of all, many women of reproductive age run a little anemic. Every pregnant woman will have a small degree of anemia. And the most important thing with anemia is to find out why you are anemic. Absent that, things like heavy bleeding, excessive bleeding, or even poor diet really could be at blame. So when you're talking about diet, you want to eat di of a diet that's rich in the nutrients you need to build red blood cells. And that includes things full of iron, folate, vitamin B12. Usually you get these things, combination of dairy, meats, green leafy vegetables. Sometimes you need to take a vitamin. And if you're talking about anemia caused by heavy bleeding, the number one best treatment is to fix that problem. Mm. What are some other possible medical reasons for fatigue? So thyroid, big thing. This is an endocrine gland that's located in the neck and it makes the major hormone that gets your body's metabolism functioning properly. Over the age of 60, about 17% of women can have an underactive thyroid. It can affect men as well. So if you are feeling fatigued, you feel an excess of weight gain and you're not eating more to account for that, you wanna see your doctor and get a very simple blood test who can check your thyroid function. All right, you already said eat breakfast. Is there anything else that we should all be doing in our daily routines to fight fatigue? Yeah, basic things. Again, you wanna eat small, frequent meals throughout the day rather than just store it up to one massive meal. You wanna hydrate yourself with water water, that is key, and you want to take frequent breaks. If you need a nap during the day or you need to put things down, take a 10-minute breather, that's key, and also regular exercise. Actually, studies have shown that people who do as little as 20 minutes of aerobic exercise three times a week can give themselves a little more pep, so you got to get moving. That's doable. Thank yep. you, Jen. You bet, Meg. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.